ding, 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 ding. Welcome to the Dork Table on RealLibertyMedia.com. <laughs> Real Radio not. Why? Shut up, you idiots! I'm trying to broadcast. Does that work? <laughs> We're darking. I got, uh, I got Grammy Mary and a flash rash uh, right here asking uh, some questions along with me and me how to do folks and we're going to say hi and howdy to the uh, bots and bodies and uh, the chatter ratters to the bar man <laughs> the and the moose girl and gate and diasmo chalcedony gram z that's a judge dread a meister brow a ponder gander rain rob works trust no one ben and white and who's this fella uh benny Vociferous, oh, you must be having a lot to say somewhere today. Uh, weather dork Beth Z, Z Beth Z, Phantom Beetle, Colfax 101, uh, uh, Cyber Noodle, Cyber Delicious, Goody, what does Graham say? Wow. Noodly Vicious, <laughs> Dakota and Dork Cakes, uh, Flash, somebody that's that go over there, Frump and Frumpy and Gromit, Java Doctor 2. And JJ's nines with his, uh, I think he wears a dress. They might call it something else over there. They uh, call it a kilt. Uh, they kilt, it kilt something. <laughs> yeah, the view. <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> a view to die for, I'm telling it. Code Sue and Kiss and Pong Sauce. So, perfect in Tech Man at Uno. There's only one Van Meter, and she'd be here. That's damn Donna. Had a duty. Donna's checking the meter. Uh oh. And you know what? Barman says that it's in a perfect world going on right now. Well, it's a perfect it, world. Oh, I and then he changed it to that. the dark yeah, table. See. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, that was the dark business on the other end across the waves. The We're waving internet, at you, Flashy. The internet well, it's supposed to be dark delicious. It's taken over and does what it wants. It says, nope, don't feel like doing that for you, white man. We're not going to do it. We do it anyways, okay? I did. As you can see, my authority overruled the internet, and I got my way. Ah, ah, ah. Nah, uh, we're hey. somewhere. So, <laughs> we got two hostages this week on the Doric table at the same time, and probably the two most unlikely guests to have here <laughs> at the same time, Graham Z from the Rocket Chair, and Vinny. We all know Vinny. Listen, man, I was minding my own business. Just sitting here and I was listening to some music and trying to open this. Oh, Whoops. So, right here. To, and, yeah, yeah, and you captured me. I didn't. I wouldn't do it. It wasn't my fault. Today, I, I only have a couple of things on my mind, but I want to call the show What Makes Me Cruel. <laughs> and, and it's inspired by things like the Pet Rock. Life insurance, interest rates, housing, food, water, anything you got to buy. Ah. And these things make me angry. So I think it's kind of cruel of the system to do us the way they, you know, do us. And then we got Miss Mary over here from the rocket chair. Hey, huh, huh? Uh -huh, and, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, I'm well, sitting here knitting. I understand that, but you've been pretty boisterous with your own opinion about these matters. I'm over I, not. Yeah. I have I have been just a skosh vocal, haven't I? <laughs> well, not here Stepping lately. Stepping right up there and letting it all fall out, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. That reminds me, springtime's coming. <laughs> letting it uh -oh. all fall out. It won't be long till I'm running along singing a song. <laughs> Uh, we don't want to know. We don't want to know, Vinny. I think <laughs> Rob's naked as a jaybird. Rob's teasing me about thinking that, about two things at once, and I've said I can't do that. I know I can't do that. I've tried to do it. I can't do it. One at a time is the way my brain goes. Just sometimes ah. things are faster than others. Mm. But Everybody's anyway, smiling. yeah, I gotta know what? if everybody ain't smiling. We ain't started this thing here right well who's not smiling raise your hand if you're shut not up smiling. what makes me cruel vincent but you're the one that well, would say it not me first of all but i what, think it started sentence. when you was a very young man and your mother dressed you funny 
Not to I, mention I, the I, fact I, that she was wearing combat boots at the time. <laughs> Why, yeah. yes, of course. Yeah, she found No more them. questions. She found them around. quite comfortable. I think Sock Puppet nailed it. I think he said you went, he said you went all wee Todd. Oh, right. Right. Maybe that's what I it was. I don't pay attention to nonsense like that. <laughs> I was actually born a poor white child, but look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Whitey's bitching like a, wow, like a baby. It's to that on the internet. I see Who is? you, white man. I see. Yeah, I see things like it's no, okay see, to be white. <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to mean? You well, guys are I'm white, right? so, you know. You're right, but I mean, don't you read these things to yourself and wonder who the fuck are they talking about? Mm, yeah. No, I can smell a wine a mile away, and so I just kind of stay away from. It. I don't do good with wine; it gives me upset stomach Not and headache. Not wine, being white, whitey. <laughs> oh, well, you said <laughs> whiny. Never mind. <laughs> whiny, hiney, whiny, white, hiney. It's a triple W. That's well, World War Three if I ever heard of well, one. We're we're having a great start today. Oh, You're at the dark table. <laughs> Three different conversations at the same time. Top that, ABC hey, News. Deadly <laughs> darkular dude. Other days long, shall we? Oh, anyway, no, I was making fun of white people needing acceptance on the internet memes that I've seen. What's wrong with being white? <laughs> the fuck are well, you asking me? I've got a, I've got a conundrum question for you. How can you be? Um, uh, descended of uh, the uh, people in the Middle East and be white. I don't know. Did I they guess. leave? Did they leave black and come back white? That's what I'd like. The better question I might add to this whole white, white, uh, right thing or wrong. I think it would be government. What do you think, Mary? What do I think? Well, never about mind. white people are. Uh, they just didn't stay in the easy bake oven of life that long. That's no, nah, Vin, Vinny's being more political because this is uh, you, if you're taken from one place and raised in another, and your children will acclimate to where you've been moved to, your uh -huh. offspring will be. Does that mean your skin color changes somehow? I would think over well, generations. It's called yeah. getting a tan, Vinny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's one thing that's always amazed me all these people are like white or white's better and white's this and white's that and yet every damn one of those people that you know parade around like that in the summertime they're out there laying out on a beach or somewhere trying to get as dark as possible it's like what the hell yeah y'all are saying you're better because you're white look what it did to the ozone they're out there trying to get dark what the hell? Climate change. Well, this is the over really, I think, the over generalization. It's um, it comes from from the push, right? Got to get the uh, got to get the folks to fight, right? What What do you want to yeah. fight about today? See, I don't like to fight. You know, yeah, you I'd do. I rather fart. I'd rather fart than fight for peace. Them's fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> See, I warned you. I don't yeah. fight. The floorboards creak. I read I read Mrs. Pelosi's last book. Oh, God. <laughs> read, read about Mrs. Pelosi's. No, it, it was called, Sir, is that a quarter for me? It was about a young girl's struggle in the old days. You know, to go to school and on to make it big and big world. Now, she's related to wealth. What are you, crazy? Oh, yeah, she is. Nobody in politics today. Major politics. Politics. politics these, uh, you know, guys yeah, and gals running around telling you what you can do and not do with your own ball hair. Um, those are the people that they've been around for a while. They ain't going anywhere. Uh, I like balls of yarn much better. How old do you think? For. I mean, how old do you think Donald Trump is? I mean, come on, the guy's seventy something. Ain't a one of them under Lord. Yeah. How old is hair? Is his hair? That's what I'd like. To well, know. when I came into the world, just was changing into Kennedy in a couple of months. So I came in, and the president was in his forties, and you know, 
you go to the grocery store with a buck and come back with shit and change. And he, 59 years old. A, around in a baby carriage with a, uh, one of them bonnets on your head and a beep, beep. Yeah, but uh, what, you, what you can do with a buck compared to now, then to now, ooh, it's a different world. It's called inflation. It's called Thank you, Fed. There's hair. <laughs> 72 years, nine months, two days, hair. <laughs> Is thirty nine years old, ten months, seven. Months. Yeah, but look at, look at how many. Did people. you access the hair club for men Me? site? Uh, Rob did. Thank uh, you, Rob. Oh. Rob. <laughs> hey, he ain't cheap, but he is easy. Oh, we're going to play games with the personalities today. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, yeah me anyway. and Rob works are boys again. Wait, you and what? Me and Rob works. We we boys again. Bro. Oh, what what changed? Uh, he was talking last night, and I said, uh, "Well, how uh, might as well un-iggy you because you're gonna have things to say to me." So I thought I'd listen to him. Mm -hmm. So me and him are uh, uh, boys. That's what they say back in the day, you know. Oh, oh, I see. Well, okay. Good things come to those who wait, mm -hmm. because you could always just. Get yourself a pet rock and get off the internet like he threatened to. I did. For a week. You call that a vacation, crying out I didn't go. You amateur. I got, off. I got off getting off. Only a poor guy would think a week was a vacation. Well, I. you know what I did? I did go for a nice uh, buggy ride way back to the back of the mountain and uh, walked off down to this big o overhang. Uh I was up probably is about 40, 50 foot up. And then down below is the water fall, fall. On the other side, it's uh, straight down for a good 100 foot. Um, but anyways, I have, I'm going to go back. There's a nice little hike off down through there. and uh, It's an old Indian site. It's a huge rock. You see the grinding stones where, you know, just a little one you pick up and carry around. Or there's one down there that sets. Oh, it's so beautiful. I got to get down there. But anyways, oh. it is huge it's as big as it's as big as a, a big dining room table did you take huge pictures kitchen. so you know they ground a lot of acorns on that that rock down there and it was probably a, a favorite summer spot to to hang out there fresh water and shade and, uh, i suspect on the uh, up the other side there is the north side of the hill there'd be uh, ginseng being it's so steep yeah <laughs> a we friend of mine pictures. he had a dog they was out hunting coon one time, and uh, one of his dogs uh, run off a bluff like that right there, chasing a coon. Uh, he said, I believe it was right there around there real close where he went over and killed the dog dead. They never found the coon. Wow. Hmm. You murdering white trash. Anyway, hey, Grimm's threatening the world. Mm -hmm. What with? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I don't know. If someone gives me shit in change, he will be eating that shit. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I think he means it, but it wouldn't happen. It's just like a, just in case, yeah. you know, you got to be prepared, you see? Mm. The difference between locking the door and waking up when the dog barks is that. <laughs> The dog's going to bark right. whether the door is locked or not way before anybody gets near the door. So why lock it? That's what That's I think. <clears throat> so. Yeah, my my two little <laughs> security alarms do that as well. <laughs> I'll tell you this. When, when it's 3 o'clock in the morning, that damn dog barks. It sounds like a train going through the bedroom. <laughs> so, no, it's... It, <laughs> Even Hannah, just the noise, yeah, that that panic. Mm -hmm. I don't know where all that came from, but someone uh, named Grimner said if someone gives me shit and change, she'll be eating that shit. And I thought my dog barking at somebody is like some kind of badass dog. <laughs> <laughs> and she okay. followed through with it. If she ever I, does it, I, she, I see I her chase the birds out. in the backyard. It's Good. insane. Anyway, I was on What Makes Me Cruel, and it didn't get either of you to. Yeah, me and, me so, and Mary don't play that way, oh. Beller. I'm just trying to figure out how you're cruel. Who who told you you was cruel, or are you trying to wear that badge? 
trying. No, 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 no. It's I've been accused of it. Sure. In That's my day. Out and let me tell you what I found. Hmm? Ah. Oh yes, we got to do the dark that oof accent. Yes. I well, it's you because you have a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's always the small penis thing that catches me every time. Get me out of politics. They said, no, I'm too You're small for politics there. I don't know what's going to happen. How could you? No babies know. All of a sudden, he's short. <laughs> hey, you know what? I read something Sometimes strange. You have to do things we don't want to do. Uh, okay, Mr. Get Claus. Your goat, or leaving your dog tied or getting the end of your penis off but, is not the right thing to do. I don't know if it was right or not, but they can't undo it now. It's a little bit late. But, hey, I read this link or saw a link with video, and what it said on it was medical. I wanted to mention it to Miss Mary. They okay. say that they cut the umbilical cord too quickly in the modern day because you're connected to it. They're, you're supposed to have shit flow through, you, through it into you from momsy. But they snip that fucking thing as soon as they can so they can stop that process. You know, I've, I've read some stuff about that. Part of that is, is it's supposed to finish getting, you know, the umbilical cord blood is supposed to be very, very potent, loaded with stem cells, all that other fun stuff. And you can request to take that home. I don't know wow. who would do it. But if you do not do so... The hospital can make money off of selling that stuff because it's loaded with stem cells. But it's also giving the baby um, more immune support and stuff. And right. it's it's a more natural process of, of the disconnection thing going on. Yeah, they're not supposed to cut that cord so right away like they do. But yeah, yeah it, I thought it was, uh... that is part of the, the stemming the um, mm. natural immunity yeah. From and breast milk. I thought it was a dorky yeah. thing to bring up. What do you think about that, Vinny? You got an opinion? Uh, I had one child that uh, was born into this world, and uh, he got breast milk. And that's very good for the baby if mommy has got a good diet. Yeah. But oh well, yeah, because like I've learned over the time, we are what you eat. And I like my mm -hmm. crappy little snacks that set my health back. And I eat a lot of good stuff for that's good for me so that for the most part. I'm, a, I'm an old guy now. So I cheat a little bit probably more than I should. But it doesn't show any direct uh, physical like decay from, mm. from the little bit of cheating I do. Mm. Well, well I'll give you, you know, example. every once in a while, a little bit of cheating. And it's kind of like when you're on a diet and you're, you're being so good. Never but been then on you a slow diet. down on the weight loss part. Never and what you need to do is kind of reset the metabolism. It's kind of like maybe needing to do a little bit of a reset or jump start on your immune system. Every once in a while, you got to take a little bit of the bad juju in just so that your immune system go, oh, wait a minute. That's what we're fighting against. Yeah, kick it, but. What, uh, like the mind uh, being prepared, also the body as well. Uh, yeah. There, there's a lot of accumulation of crap inside of us. And there's different ways of uh, uh, chelation and, and uh, absorbing and expelling that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's coming up a good time with spring coming on. The, the plantain, the seed heads there, they've got that, uh, how do you say that word, mucinous? Mu mu uh, I don't, the mucus part. You know how it mucates? Like, uh huh. Like uh, okra does when you boil okra, but that sort of thing right there. There's other examples, but that comes from the seed head. Uh, that's a very slow uh, absorption and and, and, and expulsion. Uh, and there's other ways of uh, doing it. The lemonade diet, um, and there's different uh, different mixing methods for that. But uh, it'll force a lot of poisons out of you, and uh, you better be prepared to get sick in uh, because it, it's it's expelling them so fast, but you can look up a lemonade diet and uh, different methods, too, for softening uh, with uh, lemon, fresh lemon juice, softening up uh, stones uh, yep. with oils first. Uh, you go through a bout of uh, uh, olive oil is good. I really got to caution you against rapeseed oil. 
the name sounded so offensive they can't change it to canola oil but yeah. so be, be particular on what oil you do use but anyways it'll soften them up over a period of time i uh, don't recall how long it was three or seven days uh, maybe and then the uh, uh you uh, take the lemon juice and it'll cut the edges off of uh, you know the them stones but anyways you can look more of that yourself Wow. Yeah, there's also doing like cucumber water and celery water or and we've started doing that at work, doing like a big two gallon thing and, and slicing up either a cucumber or an orange or a lemon or whatever and just letting it sit in that water in the fridge overnight. Um, huh. And that way you're not only getting the nutrients from the pulp part, but also there's an awful lot of nutrients in the peel. But you don't taste that in the water. You just you know, it's really very good for you, and stuff like that helps to flush out the system as well. Wow. You know what else has a great appeal? Is cannabis, and it's 420 right yep. now somewhere click, where click. you're at. <laughs> we, we use, Smoke them if you got them. We use the clock when we need to outside of that. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. What, this you is, know what else? Well, you know what atrocity has followed? The Buzz Beaver page no. I found was oh. deleted from Facebook because it was offensive. He's a bus beaver. Come oh, on. Man. It's offensive hey. about a bus beaver. Speaking of which, let me grab the mic for a minute. I want to pitch something to the captives out in the Real Liberty Media. Ready? Maybe I'll get Mary hey. to make it more interesting. Way back, Mary used to do a page called Mary. The Knicker Knotters. Ah. And that was, how do you explain that? Because it wasn't like offensive to me but some people didn't like it well basically it was just a page where you post things that you know are just on the, a little on the off color side or very much so on the off color side yeah. pushing the envelope of humor well, one would say you know or things that make people somewhat uncomfortable and when you get them uncomfortable enough all the squirming that they're doing puts a massive knot in their knickers and then they get extremely cranky and I sit back and laugh. <laughs> well, I was hoping you would do another one on our realliberty.org because the last time was really good. Yeah, the last one had some really, really fun stuff on it. And yeah, but you know, part of it was the people. Some of the people that were in there were just a hoot. Um, well, yeah, but Facebook is so popular and it's got its roots so deeply dug into people that they're not giving it up and forcing it herself to go anywhere else. Or Twitter um, is still huge. Even uh, Grim was telling me, oh, you should use your Twitter. And, eh, what for? You guys all use it. So what difference is it going to make if I do too? Well... Yeah, you got your Twitter, you got your WhatsApp, which I have no idea what the hell that is, but apparently a lot of people go on that. You got your your Instagram, which I go on that occasionally, but <laughs> it's and basically that's where I get to see my grandbaby pics because uh, my daughter posts stuff on Instagram instead of on Facebook. Yeah. Ding, 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 basically the same thing. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. People are just. People are finicky. People are weird. And that's what so. makes this think journey wor- so fun. I think it's worse than this. I think it's worse than we can possibly even imagine. Say, so where do you think uh, how that was actually pronounced? I think. Uh, what? I think it pronounced. What's up? Oh, I have no clue. What's up? <laughs> you and I don't know if it's that if it's what's up. Or we, were, <laughs> we were pondering it's an app. a deep concept and we get what's up. Oh, how, that's yeah. right. Welcome hey, to the door table. We're the of America, my friend. Welcome to speech. You need to get on board, sir, or be left behind. It's because it's freedom strange. of speech truly oh, wow. lives here, people. Because the sick groups call other groups sick groups. So you know what we're never going to be? A group. I'm not. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. I don't know. Yeah. Let's Let's get a vote on that from the society and let them judge you what do you, you know society judges you no matter what you do so yeah some of these idiots think that what they think matters 
that's the part that where the comedy comes in. You just can't stop laughing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it matters to them, and that's that's all well and good. You know, everybody thinks that their opinion matters. Why? And, Why? Well. Why? My wife it's, thinks it's just I'm, one of those weird things that if you didn't think your opinion mattered, you probably wouldn't express it. Well, my wife thinks I'm crazy sometimes when I express my opinion about certain things, and she just so no, what? We don't flash. see it the same way. We see one particular part about it equally, and then the rest of it's all different. And but we know one thing is right, and that the information I got was so fucking wrong that it led me to where I'm at today. And see, isn't that just way cool? Everything in your life led you to this moment right now. <laughs> kind of cool, ain't it? Well, of course. That's logic and reason. What I meant was not so... Uh, it wasn't that black and white, Miss Mary. It was a little, a little more... I was being deep and everything, and you just <laughs> whack it down and make it simple. Well, I made it simple, but it really is quite complex as well. Because there's always complexity in the simple. Yeah, well, it keeps the insurance people and the Coca-Cola people rich. Oh, that's true. And the vaccine people. Oh, CDC. Yeah, most definitely. Go out and get those vaccines because the CDC owns at least 21 patents on them. Well, when I see a senator getting his vaccine live on cable TV, I'll think about it. What about Don't you, do it. Don't do it, okay? Well, what would it God, I have to tell people what to think. Telling Listen people to what to think. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We've already announced, me and Mary, what we think. Nobody's asking anybody to think anything. We're just making fun of what's happening with it. I'm making fun of making fun of making fun of it. <laughs> okay, I get it now. <laughs> I know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I don't have a freaking clue what you're talking about. Well, hmm? if you had your Eeyore suit on, it would all be better. Trust me. Yes, it would. It would come. It would be clear because I, I would have my ear antennas, but now, I don't have it on because it's not supposed to be that cold today. Now, Van Meters making a statement to the RLM chat room about a ukulele and a creep. Blue, blue, blue. Mm. See what you started, Vinny? I'm going to the rest of my oh. bag. Wow, you're, you're, I'm you're, looking at the bag it's got to be in in any number of containers that I have things in <laughs> along with <some> other <laughs> Dremel. <laughs> I have full intention of assembling my banjo. <laughs> but mm-hmm. man, I, Okay, he's going to play his banjo, and I'm going to say, tiptoe through the tulips. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Tiny Tim in 1970-something on TV. Wow. He was the most freaky-ish. Is that, is that like freaky-ish? Yeah. Uh, Johnny Carson. Wow. Yeah, it must have been. Man, we're yeah. old. We remember Johnny Carson. Go figure. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I want to forget. Uh, Johnny Carson's better than that guy they replaced him with. A uh, uh, guy with the chin out Jay, to his. Uh, yeah. Jay Leno. That I've guy. Oh, he they was terrible. Out of funny people. And he wasn't Letterman funny. Sucks. Carson was fun. I could post a link of a five, less than five minutes of Carson with um, who was that? Bert, um, Bert, somebody or another. Um, Woohoo! Reynolds. Dork. Yeah. Well, see, back then you could get away with saying some of the crap that he said, and you wouldn't have someone else stepping up going, ow, 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 my neck or not really hurts. Right. I'm but off-ended. On, on Carson, mm-hmm. they were actually putting whipped cream down the other, each other's drawers on the show live in front of everybody. Oh, I know. It I know. was hysterical. I mean, I remember seeing it when it was live, and I found the link on our YouTube the YouTube makes it, you know, three minute things for those with a short attention span. Yeah. Well, or I don't care then for that. you had the um what was it? Laugh in. Oh Lord, mm. I love laugh in. Wow. That was like <laughs> Man, last they, like two years. They they canceled it. Well, that's because they it? were telling too much truth on T V. You can't have, have that stuff. You're supposed to have programming uh, on T V, not truth. Yeah, but I might have it confused with Ron and Martin. The laugh-in La- instead of the one. Yeah, one well, Rowan and Martin's laugh-in. Okay, yeah. then I there was another one that um, wasn't. 
Okay, go ahead. I'm Hollywood Square. <laughs> <laughs> then they had the redneck version. Hee haw. I'm a picking and you're grinning. Smothers Brothers. Okay. <laughs> hey, stop. Ow, you're pinching me. It was, the, it was the Smothers Brothers that got canceled for Jewish jokes. Oh. Yeah, oh. they had this Jew guy come on the show and do a Jew joke, and they got a reprimand for it. And then the next season they come out, and they brought him back to do it again, and they got canceled over it because it was against Jews. And they went, oh, no, 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 you're not going to do that on TV here. You must choose. I ju I'll be right back. You do it, bastards. Yeah. yeah. You know how yeah, I am with yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. I always get people all confused because their names sound alike or whatever. And I get the right idea, but the wrong freaking faces or names. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? I can't be educated, Miss Mary. I'm broken. What, what are we going to do? Huh. Okay. Well, if a broken society deems you as broken, does that mean you're you're actually working properly mm, means that to the society doesn't it yeah you know how much i care about what the society believes ready for the sound effects well right because the reality of it is how many people do you encounter in one at one time anyway what's all this society fucking looks down on who gives a fuck what they look down on look back at them tell them to mind their own goddamn business you get a good result out of it if you come into that problem, I think. Because people is nosy and they got cameras everywhere and cards for all your shit. And, uh, it's like a chess game. And we're just being moved around like little pieces. Only it's like a Star Trek chess game. You know, it's a multi-dimensional thing. Yeah, it's that all they're doing. Head. And we're playing on one level and they're playing on five other levels. Because yeah. they've been at it a lot longer. Well... Mm, they've been at you know no. it's kind of like arguing with an idiot don't do it because oh, yeah, they yeah. will bring you down to their level right. and win with experience mm, well not always well my it, way of winning is just walking away from them it's like really seriously you're I'm mean. done that's why you're so cruel you'll do that yes I am you'll iggy people and go poof out of sight out of mind yeah. Because, hey, if they can be out of your mind, their mind, you should be able to be out of your mind, I think. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> should be a level playing field. What's good for the goose is good for the goosey. That's right. Hey, That's right. You betcha, baby. And I ain't giving anybody the keys to live rent-free in my mind, so <laughs> Rent-free? Yeah. Uh, my, you know those my, people that dwell in there and mess with your oh, thought process? It's well, like, eh, like names get somebody, out of like here. A person or a, like a fiction off the internet or the political uh, well, scheme? Either way. I mean, you've got people in real life that you just kind of go, no, excuse me. You, really, you're locked out. No, I really don't. And physical, no, nah, I got it made. It's just unbelievable how people in this little area just don't give a flying. If you don't bother anybody. They don't care what you do. We got people that drink outside by the train depot and, you know, a beggar in front of the grocery store. We got our own beggar. <laughs> how, much, how much you think he takes in begging, Rick? I don't know. I you have think no you order like a, uh, a I flat? Have or no telling. It's worth him Dude. to do it. And it's probably better than any job he could get. He's not qualified for work. He's what broken. Is, is he crippled? Not physically oh. crippled, but he's he's too old for the workforce, I would say, physically. Uh -huh. People wouldn't give him uh, a of much of a chance. to fall through that crack here. People don't realize it. It's getting bigger and bigger. Well, right. Oh, but this yeah, is that, the that's a sad thing about society is yeah. you have all of this crap of, you know, you got to do this and you got to do mm. that. And if in a perfect wild... Right, you know, but this you is have the to same. About that kind the of same but beggar. I think they wanted to breed that out of us years ago. And <laughs> no, we got yeah. the same beggar every year. He's he doesn't bring people. It's just him. Well, I and understand no, that, hon. But doesn't grow. <laughs> it's weird. Why should people have to beg? Oh. You know, you see all this stuff that it's gone back. Supposedly, yeah. centuries back, you've had beggars, and it's like. Why? Mm. Why should people have to beg? 
There is so know. much in this world. Why should people have to beg? Especially here, but he's Romanian. I figured that much out. He lives in Romania. But when he wow. comes how, here... How, how, how long does he come for, then? Months at a time. Seasonal well, he guy. must make a fairly decent living. Then. I, I, I would hope so, what he does. Sure. I've got but a theory why there's only one beggar. Well, think, because it keeps that... I think may find bodies out beyond the railroad track. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I saw the first Harley of spring today, too. Flying colors. I mean, I heard the Harleys before this, but today I was on my way back from the grocery. Passed up one of the fellows riding through town. Solo. Sweet. So things things are nice here. They're... <laughs> These guys pay their year uh, year round insurance to ride, and so I guess they take advantage of it because everybody mm -hmm. else has to wait till the first of April. And Sing that song. Sixteen. You do the harmonica. Mm -mm. Mary, you hum. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well. Oh, you don't know that uh, tune. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is saying hey about the. You know, the good news here, spring has come, and that's how you know as you hear Harleys. Oh, um, yeah. You know how but, you can tell here? Because the uh, the daffodils come out, the Easter lilies, they call them. Yeah, but the first first time I heard them, I didn't see them. I didn't think there was anybody flying colors, so I don't remember now. Oh, I'm getting old. It's, it's all your fault, Cirque. I'm going to punish Cirque for me grinning forgetful <laughs> ah it's her fault it's uh. you, did you bother looking down at your hand when you're pointing at me? <laughs> just asking I you know, know what that, uh, brings something that it particularly uh, honestly bothers me a great deal what i Mary, do now every time i go to your page your pin post about fingers i click it every time and when i come back my uh, my heart like or whatever you call it there is it's gone and I, I see that happening to other places too and then sometimes not so that is uh, some of that shadow banning on what Vinny. page yeah, yeah. on which one Vinny. Vinny. on twitter twitter okay because i don't i don't get all that stuff so i miss, i missed that let me let me prove it oh uh, that's not good i don't you yeah. know but that's well I there's, mean, you guys... there's lots of times that yeah but you guys need to know these things, so that's the nice thing about the radio is you can ask verbally, get it straight I type, out. Uh, I didn't mean interrupt. So I type G into the search box, and uh, Gary Long comes up. Uh, Chris and Gina and Miss Mary is third right there. So I click your name. Watch. Do you see this again? Uh, I don't have to screenshot it. You can take my word for it. Did you know when you observe another, you don't really see them. You see your perception of them. So that, this is a, I gave the wrong uh, quote there. Hmm. Yeah. So, okay, I clicked uh, hard on it again. Hmm. And I bet you I come back tomorrow, the next day, and it will be unhearted. Every time. Every yeah, time. I have, I have that a lot, actually. There's quite a few things that I have shared that, It'll show, I'll get a little notification, and then all of a sudden the notifications will clear out. Hmm. Yeah, and, that's uh, happened to me as well and could not find it because I got the sidebar notification and then uh -huh. I and check the notification on the Twitter. Uh, not there. Yeah. Well, yeah. can I tell you guys something that's kind of cool? What's that? No matter how bad the uh, Facebook and the Twitter treat you, you always got the dork table to come play at on saturday that is true that is true and you know no matter how bad it gets on social media i'm just obnoxious enough that i'm gonna keep doing it until they tell me <laughs> i can't now nah, we're small we're harmless and we're right so there you go yeah We'll give them. A, we'll slap them around about their damn forced annihilations in a few minutes. What do you think? You want to do that, Vinny? I'm sorry. Tell me again. I said you want to slap the public around about their forced fucking inoculations, or do you have a better no. idea? No. Did I show you or share that over on 
in the RLM chat earlier today. You shared a few things. Shared that. Well, do -do. Uh, from Lotus Oak, uh, a baby, a two-month checkup will get a hepatitis B rotavirus, DT or DTAP, Hib, polio, and fuma, uh, pneumo, pneumococcal, which is basically that Hib is a, a influenza B. And pneumococcal is for pneumonia. But they get all of those at their two-month checkup. No, two months. No. All of those adjuvants getting put yeah. into that tender little forming brain. All of those lovely little things that will just totally destroy their neural network. And they get them at two months. And you can't tell me someone that's really, really, really interested in health care can see that that makes sense. That makes sense absolutely no sense at all but it makes total sense for someone that's in the medical industry because huh. they can push more drugs on you well you know, and just like with finance there's two sets of books yeah and if you don't believe there's two sets of books but you want to have that kind of information i got a guy that i can recommend you to on youtube his name is Jerry Day. Okay. He's all straight laced and short haired and clean shaven and, and middle aged looking. But uh, he talks like me with an education. And exposes to the system for the fraud it truly is. So, I mean, if other people you know got, they're sitting on the fence about this crap and they want something more serious as a you know, guideline to the truth, because I'm not in a fucking mood to be serious all the time about this stuff. Sometimes it's just funny, and you gotta laugh at it. Because I mean, well, sometimes the truth is quite comical, and watching the mental contortions that people go through to avoid it, yeah. holy smoke! Especially if you know they just they just said it themselves, and yet the contortions. You can you can see those gears just grinding in their brain and going, I really said that. I hope to God they don't catch that I actually said that. You know, you just gotta sit back and just laugh at them. Oh. So it's like, oh, dude, seriously, take a look in the mirror. Can you see the smoke coming out your ears? Their their logic is backwards. They yeah. they explain the answer to a problem in an illogical way that doesn't make any sense at all. So. How do you get that kind of jibber-jabber support when it's not real? When you listen to what they're saying, doesn't mean anything. It's bullshit. Like For, that word. But, well, you you know a lot about this, Vincent. Let's see. You would get. Okay. You'd be, do that. And then you got yeah. something to read because you're a uh, reader guy. Yeah, like, rapid speech. It's often a slang. Of, uh, Slowly. You don't have to kill me here. Requires a name for other languages, such as French, Spanish, or American. You ain't American. You dead gum. Yeah, jibber jibber. A Brit. Uh, what do you call a Brit? Uh, what do you call a do you derogatory call a Brit? Limey. for a Brit? Limey. I got friends over there. Limey. Together. I'd just be jibber jabbering if I tried. Or uh, they, what do they, they call Australians palmies. What's that? Prisoners of Her Majesty's, Her Majesty's something or another. They're teasing them still about the, the slave days. You know, and I'm not really so sure that that all these alternate history things yeah. and, and yeah. history being rewritten and stuff. I question an awful lot of that crap that we've been fed lately. Would you I'll call it, me. in fact, jibber jabber? <laughs> Yes, um, indeed I would. Yeah, jibber jabber would be a good one. Or yeah. bullshit, but jibber jabber makes more people let's, listen. Let's try an experiment. Yeah, or you know, together, verbal gymnastics. Together, we're gonna say it, and <laughs> no, we're not. So we're start out. If I say it's all bullshit, jibber jabber, jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Wait, we gotta start out as slow and then build into it. Flash, you gotta come along with us. Come on. Ready? <laughs> Oh. Jabber, jibber, jabber. Wow. <laughs> Flash doesn't want to be a member of any group that would have him as a member. I, it, it reminded me of the Wizard of Oz when he started to say jibber jabber and follow me. You know, now I hit the yellow oh, brick road. Follow the, the yellow other, brick road. I went the other follow way. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> yeah. What other way is there's only one way to follow it? You're 
kind of screwed. Yeah, Morrison mm. says people are strange when you're a stranger. No, thing. people. <laughs> yeah. You know what? More people are dull and boring than strange. And some people try to be strange, and I find them dull and boring. <laughs> Go figure. You explain that to me, maestro. <laughs> or you, mistro. <laughs> I have no idea how to explain you to you. <laughs> You're going to have to figure that yourself. <laughs> da -da -da. Damn. You figured it out. There's nothing to freaking know. It's just, mm, it's not about with, me. I'll tell you that. Can you eat with chapsticks? My life, you know what my life's all about? People out there in the radio world, it's all about me. How could it be about anything else? What do you think? I'm well, that's sane. That's because you're a mess of Jewy bastard. Okay. I'll, I'll take that <laughs> for a reason, but I don't think you're any different. No, I'm not. And Vinny's yeah, got a bigger ego than I do, so we know where Vinny's at. <laughs> have you, uh, <laughs> you know this. Man, I could rent out Vinny's ego to people that don't have any self-esteem and make a profit. Okay, I learn it to Trump sometimes. I'll just make some videos on the YouTube and the bitch shoot about Vinny. Where is hair? It's fun. It's great fun. It's really, really huge. Great. I love you it. Should, you see, huge. If you're huge. gonna make it big, get a camera and go on bitch shoot and start there. It's a it's more fun of a platform than YouTube. Yeah, I tried something like that. Didn't uh, it was censored? I uh, was uh, imitating oh. one of those sock puppets, you know, for the air <laughs> Yeah. We don't want to know. Sick. I was doing right. It's a little late My not to know. He, was, he already he told going. us. He says, are you done? I says, not quite, as I go for the fly. <laughs> God. Good this, Lord. This Mary, see what Damn, you now I need my mental edge <laughs> See what you made him do. It's so easy. It's so easy. Well, that's right. I've, I've teased you about etching in the window, so... Vinny's not really saying anything that's that weird. Yes. Reminding you, when you think of penises, think of me. <laughs> yeah, that's, A that's what prick. I'm going to do, Vinny. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Don't even need to bring this to a table vote. We're not doing it. <laughs> do it yourself there, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to recruit us into your evil prison gang. <laughs> going anywhere. I have chopsticks. <laughs> Go back to the damn ditch or what you're standing in the Any gap. Freedom. Go get back to your gap there, Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you guys play some more. I'll, I'll be, I'll oh, be no. nice. <laughs> I've got to put my clothes back on first. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, crack me up. What can I say? Bunch I was of serious about it. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, but where's all that standing in the gap crap when you're telling somebody you need to kick them in the face? I don't get it. I'm you confused. Can, you can stand on one foot with the other in their face. Yeah, you have a you have a like an area, you know. Well, uh, if I don't you know. come and see this area, yeah. then uh, yeah. it may be a violation unless you have been in fact i'm invited in oh so do you like walk up to strangers like some kind of a rain man and give them a wild random hug to see Sometimes, what they'll do actually huh yeah. huh i mm -hmm. i bet you do you just walk up to nobody somebody you never saw in your life just hug them <laughs> welcome to <laughs> you know what i have done that <laughs> i have too <laughs> you you can see a person needs that sometimes. Wow. Very, very much. So. Oh, no, uh -huh. I can't. I, sometimes a smile. Oh, I'll pass. Or, or a touch onto their, their shoulder. No, I, tr looking. I trust people too much to do that. See, and I trust people enough to, to realize that, you know, if they look like they need a hug and I give them a hug, they're going to accept it. Oh. Wow, well, you must be like the queen of Kansas or something where you live, because I don't know. I'm I'm just not a lovey-dovey kind of guy. I don't, some strange female started moving toward me. I'd back against the wall. 
Just out of common sense. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Boobs, boobs, boobs. You know, they're, you know they're in trouble. I mean, crying out loud. If you don't recognize the face attached to the boobs, abandon <laughs> something is seriously wrong. <laughs> Talk well, about congratulations, <laughs> Flash, because your eyes actually gravitated up towards their face. Oh, yeah. That doesn't I, happen with I, a lot of men. Yeah. What he said was thinking of two things at once. How can you actually do that? You can't. It's impossible. <laughs> huh? Can yeah, you got to start somewhere? We're, right. You got to begin, first. but you you can't eyes do both. Can't do both no. at the same time. Remember when I proved that with that uh, little blog I wrote about love <laughs> and fear? People liked that. I was a proud writer that day. Wish I would have saved it. <laughs> you ding dong. I know I didn't think ahead, you know. It was <laughs> such a weird you know, internet time in my life. The last thing I was concerned about saving <laughs> shit I wrote. It was like, well, I already got what I got. So what I wrote <laughs> had nothing to do with getting me where I got to. It was the uh, explanation of it along the way. My little... Uh, blogs and shit <laughs> we had oh. some fun with that on a, on another site that has since been put a down ah uh, put down such a lovely way to put it <laughs> yeah we shot it in the I head and the we light. left it to die the damn thing was resurrected by the coder it was i told her trying to tell you too nobody wanted to know it was so much fun <laughs> I that yeah. I that, to that was a shit storm from hell, and we enjoyed it. It's weird because you would think it was so bad in one way, but in another way, it was like you can't make this stuff up. People would think you were yeah. lying to them if you told them the truth of what we went through. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. Well, yeah, because there's your side, and there's his side, and there's what really happened, and they're never going to match. Uh, are bad ideas. Very, very bad. Mm. You just, <laughs> you, what? What? What I do? If you have a side, then you've got to be against something. Yeah, instead of, of course. Moving progressively forward in the right direction. Uh, hmm. What if I'm, I'm standing pretty, still? How do I move forward in the right direction, sir? Thank you. How would I like to say? You're not answering my question. I am confused. Well, well, ask you again in a better, more understandable way that I, as a dumb hillbilly, might understand. Okay, I'm standing in one place. How can I move forward? Because the Earth is rotating. Oh, here we go with that nonsense again. Okay, <laughs> if you believe it. That's the story of physical journey well, i think it's just all vibrating shit i don't think it's spinning in any fr i don't think it matters i can't understand the spinning ball crap but i can understand the uh, vibration stand right where if yeah. you micro you know microscope us all down where these little tiny things vibrating and then because there's so much of it it makes it solid but yeah then you add that rotating and spinning crap to it, and eh, it bores me. I get confused and go off and eat cookies. If 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 the world was flat, mm. the cat didn't say that. knocked everything off see? the edge by now. Right, right. But that's see, true. that's not hey, what Rob, I here's, said. Uh, here's you something I'd like you to take a look at and just see how uh, polluted this is with uh, insertion of ideology. Uh, see, what, you can follow but, up to you. To your link there, how the media uh, intentionally covers flawed conspiracy theories but to you, distract from the real ones, and then you this one right my here. side for me, and I, I, I didn't very see it. interesting. Sovereign citizens a growing domestic threat to but, law maybe. enforcement. Okay, there. Back to you. No, you. Well, you, you, you yeah, slap with me in. law enforcement, you didn't. All you have to do is enforce it. You don't <laughs> have to actually agree with it or nothing, because they want you to be a mindless enforcer yeah. is forced in a word by itself and wait is Pardon? what is force force yeah yeah force, force is, is a word, one a word by itself yeah that's an force meant okay oh, that's enforcement a, enforcement, oh, enforcement. added on um, to the that. act of forcing the act of forcing compulsion well see then you gotta define Compulsion, because that would be like, oh, I want to do that. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 
but force. Yeah. Oh, I always wondered why, if something is such a wonderful idea, why did they have to put, <laughs> if you don't do it, you're going to get punished. That's, That's such a good idea. Wouldn't everybody just volunteer to do it anyway? We, well, no. There's always going to be people like you that will not listen to what's good for you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for the children. For well, the children. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you can laugh about all that, but there's there's a horrible group of people out there in seats of power and decision that, for all they know, at least this is what they say, they think they're doing something for us. And yeah. But their actions and the written laws don't match. No, they say it's for your own good, but what they don't tell you is... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. completely broke that damn uh, fluoride thing down into what they what they use as a source of it and what they tell you they use as a source of it are two different things. So, mm -hmm. one story out of the two is obviously not true. Which one is not true? I watched the street. Well, but Vincent, what I mean is, I mean it's some people can't handle that idea right there off the boom. They won't listen. And, you know, I listened to um, Sheridan. Oh, now I can't think of his name. I think it's Sheridan Thomas, but I'm, I could be wrong on YouTube. And uh, he said that when you actually stop and think about it, 90% of the population is never going to get it. Simply wow. because they just plain don't want to. Yeah, just I agree. Plain, they yeah. are comfortable in their cage. Yep. And they just plain don't want to. Now, I don't know that I would say it's 90%. I'd say probably 80%. But, yeah, probably 80% of the population mm. are never going to get it. Mm. Because they're they're just they're comfortable in their little birdcage and... You just go away and quit telling them that they have bars on their cage because they're comfortable where they're at. Are you so, comfortable where you're at? Um. Uh, well, I'm comfortable where I'm at right now, yeah. Did you know that I call it a prison and I'm comfortable in my prison? Mm-hmm. You remember that. So I didn't see mm -hmm. any point. If you weren't around in the beginning and you didn't know, then you didn't know. <laughs> There's nothing for you to know. But you were there, so you know. And then the, I guess we got listeners in the real, you know, out in the electronic world that actually they check in to see what kind of crazy crap we're talking about. Yeah. Because sometimes there's some valuable tidbits on this here dork table about stuff that matters. I, I other, think I got some here. And other um, times. I we can inject. Oh, so. Yeah, we, we looked at forced, and now I've been looking at in, E-N. It is uh, a verb suffix, which uh, goes to the end of a word. Cause to be, like sharpen. Uh, cause to have, like lengthen. Come to be, like steepen, and come to have is lengthen. Uh, it is also uh, an adjective sus uh, suffix, and uh, made of, consisting of, uh, earthen and lengthen, and also a prefix. Uh, is uh, like uh, in, within, uh, in Zutik. I don't know what that is. Uh, usually em. Uh, let me skip the top. This is, uh, oh, wait. Also, of course, the, uh, the prefix. But this is very interesting right here. Something I didn't know about. Uh, it is uh, the width of a piece of type, half the width of an em. So I'll go back over here to this other site to see this. Um, and that is a unit of measurement equal to half an M, E-M spelling, and approximately the average width of typeset characters used, especially for estimating the total amount of space a text will require. And uh, its origin is uh, late 18th century, the letter N uh, is represented as a word. And today, the N word cannot be said in and that's my final uh, addition as uh, a tunicated. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> are, are you going to be okay, that's, Benny? Uh, it's brought to you by the letter N. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> See, sometimes there's good shit on the dark.
table. And then what yeah. I'm going to bring up right now ain't so good. <laughs> I was watching with Cirque yesterday. I'm watching this uh, Gary Ridgeway epic explanation of catching the uh, Green River Killer guy. Killed mm-hmm. 71 yeah. teenage and young young women in a 20-year long span. And I, what I noticed about the area it happened in last night is, isn't that where Bill Gates was building his great fortune at the same time? No, it was he? No, Gates wasn't building his fortune at the same time. But not in the same 80s. general area. The area. That's what I mean. That okay. Well, the great okay, how it translates is important. Right? But it was in that area where that river's at, and all these dead girls, and the coincidence of the young, you know, fifteen, sixteen, <laughs> dozen. Green River, Wyoming. Yeah, That's seventy. But, okay, so I was I've been reading and seeing internet links for a you know, long time about child and teenage girl sacrifices in the underworld to become rich. And I, I just find it quite coincidental that it can go on for so many years and then they finally catch the guy. <laughs> 20 years of doing this. But this other guy that was in the same area that got really rich and this other guy killed a lot of girls. Woo. You know what I find uh, to be very uh, attractive as far as the uh, where they really just invade uh, privacy and so forth. But they've yeah. taken the DNA uh, DNA samples and are catching people. Yeah. So uh, in a good in a great way, that is a a good thing. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, uh, a lot of these people can be stopped before. Well, uh, they I understand that side of it, but what if it was a, that's the, the story you're supposed to believe from the whole fucking experience, Vinny. I'm taking it a step further, and I'm saying this. Yeah. Is it possible? I, I, I would like to take a person like that. Is it possible yeah. that we were to very, by, very long life uh, in suffering state yeah. of condition? That, but uh, isn't it possible we were duped by... 20 freaking years of this and the way they explained it it's very suspicious that one guy did this 21 years worth of murdering i can believe that very easily you can I did there there are evil geniuses out there but you know no matter how smart they are they're gonna eventually screw up even if it just comes down to a matter of them getting entirely too arrogant well, what if the end results of whatever you're being told justify the police intervention in your life at that level that doesn't belong there? And That's a simple answer: is uh, never uh, uh, not take advantage of a good crisis situation. So, yeah, yeah. you don't have to create something and falsify to uh, uh, you know take advantage of something that actually is happening. And uh, I want to tell you, uh, I've seen ugly people in this world; they're out there. Mm. They do things like that. Mm. Uh, and uh, if I had power, I, I think I'd uh, extinguish them. Wow. That's pretty uh, ooh, of you, sir. <laughs> well, see, well there are some people out there, <coughs> excuse me, that are so broken that there is no fixing. Wow. I must live a charmed life because for all the traveling and whatnot and people I've met over my life, just most of these psychos, where the hell were they? And I'm a you little tiny try. guy, so you didn't hug enough strangers, <laughs> right? According That's to right. The, the society right. that reared me, I'm supposed to be dead about 35 years ago. So I what got reared the hell's going down on? As a youngster, and I grew up, moved along. Something's uh, missing, if you know what I mean. Well, you know, with mom, you guys seem well, yeah, violence, yeah, cha cha cha, and me, uh, wow, where's all this violence? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know, you can, and that's, you know, it's like the leeches at bee stuff that's going on right now. It really doesn't take a whole hell of a lot of people to cause a negative vibe to kind of reverberate around the world. But those leeches at bee wouldn't be able to get away with what they're doing if they didn't have little henchmen that are very good little order followers, a.k.a. don't mess with my birdcage. I'm content with my birdcage. 
Well, me and Cirque are kind of like that in the respect of the society at large. We're not running off and going to live on a mountaintop because she prefers... I live on a mountaintop. Well, right. Well, see, she you already did it, so Flash and Circle don't have to. Well, yeah, the, you know what I'm going to do is walk off the mountaintop. That would be cool. Well, this is a small country. There's no real mountains to go to in Denmark. But anyway, it was kind of a. I was making more of a point that Cirque ain't leaving her home, no matter what. Well, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, but you I, guys also aren't making waves. I don't share that uh, that love for the place, even though she feels I like Denmark just fine. It's a great, great place to be. But should anything uh, come up to where we had to go somewhere else, I wouldn't hesitate. Another I like another experience. Let's see where we go now, dear. <laughs> Can't make waves, make bubbles. And again, well, big <laughs> shout out to the Fart for Peace. Nah, group but, you know. Check him out. Do it anywhere. Uh, especially in the bu uh, bathtub, if you want to make bubbles. Nah, yeah. The, uh, well, yeah. You've been hanging out with Goober too long, man. Uh, <laughs> starting to worry me, Vince. Hey, we were singing uh, Tiny Bubbles before we uh, kicked this broadcast well, off. Well, singing huh. them and living in them is not quite all that different if you really want to know what I think. Well, what do you do with your farts, man? It's I better to wash them. Come on. Uh, I I try not to share them with my RLM <laughs> chat friends. It's actually, it's one of the few rules I have in my life is do not share your gas with others. Oh, <laughs> Enjoy your oh, gases oh, alone. Right. Such, uh, <laughs> Especially the really... Really I'm a gassist. Like, what the Brad, fuck? You're a, listen, if you got some SBDs, <laughs> go to the grocery store. <laughs> Not on a real busy day, but semi. You know, put that sucker in the aisle, and the aisle in and walk down the end, and, and look like you're looking down in the can of wow. corn. <laughs> wait, wait for somebody to walk into it. <laughs> Wow. Straight, straight, straight there up. is nothing like a well placed. <laughs> Welcome to the dark table, people. Intestinal kiss. <laughs> International land of Oz. You never know what we're going to mm -hmm. bring you, whether you want it or not. You're welcome, by the way. And we don't give you 20% off at the dark table. You're, you're stuck for the whole bill. Oh, <laughs> baby. Uh, <laughs> Just remember, it was marked up 50%. <laughs> Rob says, hey, I'm trying to cook here. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the food's problem, I suppose. Don't, don't cook anything Tiny shaped bubbles. like a dick, then, damn it. <laughs> Whatever you do, put the hot dogs down and step away from the barbecue. You don't look so good as you think, sport. <laughs> It's all fun and games till someone loses their wiener. <laughs> yeah. Boy, you ever and have your wiener like stepped on? Behind, everybody. We do have the uh, poop option in the chat. That's right. Uh, dot. And see what happens. Hey, even Rob Work says no hot dogs in this house. Well, <laughs> in Jew land, we oh, make Vinny's one exception. Bad. Yeah, but he, he's like that. But in Jew land, we're, we're the chosen ones. Now you know why. Yeah, yeah, they, you're chosen, all right. They chose mm -hmm. us for that particular experiment to see what would fucking happen, and whoops, <laughs> wasn't so great of an idea. Oh, it's like daylight savings. <laughs> yeah, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> just, that's now, let's it. cut the end off of this blanket I mean, and sew it on the other end. Look, it's magic. <laughs> it's longer. Well, I was trying to compare circumcision to something equally as ridiculous, <laughs> I think well, I made yeah, it. Well, <laughs> yeah, it is like daylight too. Look, we'll just cut the end off of that, and you'll you'll thank us later because right. it'll be longer. Oh, how about climate change? <laughs> hey, uh, Donna, they're talking about that Christchurch uh, guy there. Um, that sign's also used as three percenter, and they're uh, trying to say that this guy, uh, I can't remember everything. I'll write a little short bit about him. But anyways, he's supposed to be following a so-called patriot three percent. Uh, three percenter type uh, thing there uh, that they uh, and that's uh, it goes into that link I just shared for uh, Rob back there um, how they're characterizing people and uh, then then you find the idiot so I wouldn't be surprised this guy's been uh, mind milked and uh, um, you know did stuff 
I ain't even looked at anything about it. Uh, okay. Just very light in passing. So, whatever this, this, they always make conspiracies out of stuff. Yeah. No matter what happens, so you never can tell is it real or is it uh, memorex. But. Well, doesn't matter if it's real or not. It matters that you're afraid, Vince. I'm not afraid. Mm. Okay. All right. 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 Well, that's you, Mister Tough Guy. There are loads of people that if they are threatened in print or word, fall to their knees like little girls and go, oh, please don't hurt me. That's who that same at. To keep them there. So they'll always look harder. Look at these movies, man. They, They got the police in the position they're in with us now through TV and film. It's made common through the movies for the police to be so aggressive and for us to be so pitiful and that we have to tell them and do as they say like that they started out they had to have probable cause and warrants and there were rules so that everybody wasn't just a pigeon to be plucked in a courtroom and here we are and all we are now today in reality is pigeons to be plucked in a courtroom there's life i've got got a tale about that uh both the real life and uh, a television story. Uh, I was down with my buddies yesterday, and he had uh, some TV uh, show. It was a Chicago Hope. But, uh, the, so the top guy there in this unit, it's a special unit of some sort. I forget what it was called. Uh, investigative. I don't remember. But anyways, he is dirty as the day is long. And it seems that everybody in the team knows it, and people in the station know it. And uh, still, it's allowed to go on in this uh thin blue line and i'm not going to tell the rare the the real life story but uh, that's the conditioning right there and it's uh like it's okay to be a dirty cop as long as uh you know you're doing some good you're taking out some bad guys and hey what's the uh what's the harm in taking a little uh you know some of this uh ching ching uh that's otherwise just why what are we going to do with it turn it in eh. put it in the safe yeah put it in the safe it'll be safe with me Oh, 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 you know, the problem is with all this crap, right? Crap? It, yeah, with all this cash crap, if you don't have a good friend in banking or know somebody in banking, you can't get rid of cash. It's useless. I I, will, I once sold my cowboy hat to uh, to the president of the local bank down here. Mm-hmm. You mentioned that, yeah. But I'm not talking about, you know, 50 or or $100, Vince. I'm talking about if you had... Some of cash, some cash, even something no, small. Not, Say you even at twelve or fourteen thousand dollars in cash, and you wanted to do something with that cash. This government's going to be on you about where the cash come from. You have to account to them where your money comes from. What what's that about? Who? No, I have a solution. I say we switch over to frog pelts. We call them greenbacks. We're skin frogs. Yeah. We have like different values, like the ones down from Central America. Let's say some of these dark frogs, right? Oh, and I take a little man. lick off of one of them right there, and you're uh, going someplace you ain't never been. So I, I support alternative currencies. The you. modern day Federal Reserve. <laughs> Here, like this. No, no, that's what the Catholic guy told me to do. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's never frog mind. Belt. Oh, it's, I was making a frog pedophile slash choke all in one, Vincent. Pl- work with me here. Work with me. Uh, I can't get the lid off. Shoot. It's stuck. <laughs> I, there it is. I got it. Uh, now, we're not talking Federal Reserve, mister. I've got no. me here this little old jar, and hey. I'm going to call it a ribbit reserve. Okay, L- let me interrupt up. this for a dark table right. announcement live ribbit. off the reallibertymedia.com chat. Rob works in my with my very own four eyes. I am seeing him threaten to do a show for that. I don't know what it's that is supposed to be, but I saw it. I'll do a show for that. And Remember when Rob Works did radio? I listened. So there you go. <laughs> did you listen? Uh-oh. I did. I, I listened to you, but I'm reading Sock Puppet's definition. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Crop dusting. It's farting, then dragging the smell around with you. <laughs> or 
Oh, <laughs> that thing got in the a process name of walking. It. My mother does that. <laughs> <laughs> we call that the walking poots. <laughs> wow. It's I know. The, the show is degenerated. I wonder if it's international. <laughs> I could ask my wife for a ruling on that, but no, I'm going to pass. First, I have to explain it in English, and then, wait a minute. <laughs> the things you don't do when you're married. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, there, there's three words I, I really don't use. Honey. Look at this. I never say those three words. <laughs> what? Four words. <laughs> Honey, I was look close. At this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Whenever you, whenever you're married, and the other one says, "Honey, look at this." Oh, <laughs> it's not. No, good. when Don't you should this. be afraid is when they go, "Honey, taste this." Oh no, 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 she cooks good. <laughs> she cooks good. I'm just not a taster. I want Have you ever product. noticed that when someone has like a drink or something like that, and it's mm. kind of got a weird off kind of taste? Yeah. Go, oh, that tastes yeah. weird. Here, you taste no. it. No. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah, but laughs> I was you. just going to say, in the <laughs> South, when somebody says, who made the tea? <laughs> it's not because it's good. <laughs> good. Now, I found this article here yeah. uh, uh, yesterday, I guess it was 13 Southern th uh, sayings the rest of America won't understand. And I'm going to tell you, it didn't take me very long to figure out that this was written by a Yankee. Sure enough. Now, I give you number one. We're living in high cotton, and it's actually we're, uh, it's a actually said it's shit in high cotton. So the person says cotton has long been a key crop to the. He's probably trying to talk like a Yankee when he, or I mean a Southern when he's saying it, but uh, the. Uh, a key crop to the South economy. So every harvest farmers pray for tall bushes. I'm not going to read anymore. I'll share the link, but this guy's an idiot. You got to read the rest. And it's like, this guy ain't from the South. You already know it. High cotton is a different uh, strand and breed of cotton. And uh, so he's really way off from this right here. He don't even know the actual saying. And I oh, want to tell you something else about God. bless your heart. Bless your heart is mostly used uh, as a compliment and not uh, as a little slight. And uh, so that's been being propagated too about South. Yeah. I don't want to defend it. The, the no. North South, North Carolina, that was, that was their little thing to dig. Yeah, I'll heart, tell you man. about North Florida, Carolina. the farther south you go, the yeah, farther north you are. I would, so. Well, the further north you go, the less south you are. That's all. A lot of all that stuff's changed since we got here anyway, since uh, the 50s and 60s events. See, and to me, when I say bless your heart, usually I'm meaning, oh, my God, I got to put some positive vibes out because, wow, See? wow, you need Just them. Like just like everything else has been hijacked, everybody hijacks everybody else's words and make them mean something. Don't and this open that jar, Mister. Well, you got your borders, pal. You got your areas, and you're you know this group, and you're that group, and it's, it's never ending. That's, well, you know, my cells have borders too. Well, conning us into joining forces together was perfect. That's how they trapped us all. By making sure we were all against each other first. Oh, well, so yeah. Borders. If you uh, you need to protect your borders, right? Well, what's causing oh, the yeah. attack on the border? It's better to go and find that cause instead of treating a symptom like modern medicine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, holistic and, and seek the cause and then uh, stop the cause. So building a wall is the stupidest idea that's ever been proposed. Yeah, Itty I agree with on. that. I make fun of the wall as often as I can, and people don't like it. You know, I can. <sighs> I see both sides of that argument. I what? I see building a wall as like that's just a little stopgap way to throw money at a problem and not really fix on the problem. I yeah. see that yeah. side of it, but it. I also see the side of walls do serve a purpose. Now, I'm not just talking about a fence wall. I'm talking about I have walls in my house, and they hold the roof up. And I kind of like those walls. It's a different yeah. concept, man. So, 
different idea altogether, and you know it. You're playing word games. Well, I know it. I I understand <laughs> that, but you know the the illusion. A lot of this is is because of things that were started years and years and years ago, and sometimes you just flat ass have to take baby steps, and. It's not pleasant sometimes doing those baby steps. Christ, ask ask Java doctor about his knee rehab. You know, you got to start all over from scratch because you got something new there, but or you, you got another do, do you, some kind of stopgap thing going on. And so, yeah, the what? pain of getting past that. Oh, do you believe the government didn't do this on purpose? Come on, where do you? Th oh where no, do people no, get the I'm idea sure to go it was to America done on purpose, yeah. but I'm sure it was done on purpose or started years, years. ago. And They've this been... is just we are dealing with the end result, and it's not even the end result yet. The government's not that's a bad word. It's not the government because the, the government is not yeah. an entity that exists, but what no, does exist really. is four twenty somewhere <laughs> right now. Well See, whether... there you go. Whether Smoke the government, them if you got them. I am, but whether the government exists or not is that's a, a individual thing. Because it's a tool, if, it's if a you, tool that people have corrupted. It's a word. It's an explanation, but as far as being a reality, that that's your, not. I'm an onlooker. You tell me. Well, yeah, and people do stuff in the name of. It's just like in yeah. the name uh, of religion, uh, in yeah. the name of government, Ooh, under yeah. the color of law. Telling you. Mary's on fire. It's Ooh. just people hiding underneath an umbrella so that when the shit goes flying, they yeah. got the umbrella to deflect it to someone else. Well, I see. But I just work for the government. I'm just following orders. Don't bite me. Well, I seriously believe that the bigger the population is where you're at, the bigger the problems are going to be no matter what. It's the overcrowding that does the, the physical end of whatever the politics are supposed to do we finish it off physically doing something i think it's called taking it up the ass but i'm not positive i could be wrong well yeah it's the artificial overcrowding because there's some people that just plain want to live in an area but you know if you don't have this artificial stuff of you have to do this and you have to do that and in order to do these things you have to live in a certain place you know, environments will support the amount that, you know, a certain amount, depending on the environment. And yeah, when you have yeah. this forced clump of or beehive, as I like many. to look at it, you know, there ain't no freaking flowers anywhere <laughs> around, but that beehive is going to be there by God, and you bees are going to live in it, and you're going to produce honey. From what? Damn it. Yeah. So, from your mind. You know, there's, there's a long plan been going on for quite some time yeah. of uh, putting people in those beehives and it's yeah. getting people off the land. That's what I've uh, mm -hmm. uh, found myself where I uh, where I stand in the gap and uh, and sharing my experience That's with the this stuff. Uh, remember people in yeah. the land. You know, they've done it to farmers by, by trickery for a long time yeah. and the uh, Force. Uh, manipulation of the commodities uh, busted and boom and putting them into debt uh, the loggers, I mean, they they spend uh, their money goes to the bank by equipment, you know, where they're taking down, you know, hundreds and hundreds of acres of for uh, yeah. Uh, and now. they're sold this idea that if you just have more equipment, if you just have, then you would be bigger and you'd be able to make more money. We got farmers out here that are selling their property like crazy because they bought into that lie. That if you just get a little bit bigger, you'll make more profit, and then you'll be able to live comfortably. It's bullshit. Yeah, you know, you like that a is. family farm where you can support yourself, and if you have excess, sell it at a farmer's market. But if you don't have excess, then you at least have yourself supported. But they don't want you doing that because then you're self-sufficient. You know, it a, gr a great example in history that uh, is not really talked about much that they talk about who is selling, like now, t talk about who these guys are selling, but why? And you go back to the 1929 crash, and everybody's talking about uh, people jumping out of buildings, this and that, who, who lost all the money. But it's, it's seldom said who came along and bought them up for pennies on the dollar. And yeah. There's been, you know, wave after wave, uh, these plans and attacks and the, against 
the people of the world uh, to, to steal and, and rob us and kill us and, um, incrementally. Um, so where you, you got to stop somewhere and stand in the gap, I guess, and be against. Or uh, in another way, maybe uh, work and move in the flow towards the right direction and perhaps you'll uh, do a little schooling and get some fish and fodder or something. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's like Buckminster Fuller said. If you do not like the current reality, then instead of fighting against it, which is just giving more energy to that current reality, you create another one that makes this one obsolete. And you, and I'm sorry, but you cannot do that in mass. You just plain can't because people are just, they have their own little idiosyncrasies. So each little person needs to create their own reality and when they do so, and when they make a reality that that you know other people will look on and go, "Hey, that works pretty cool. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do a little bit of a tweak so that it works better for me." Then things are cool, things are kosher because people don't necessarily conglomerate into a society or a community or anything like that. It's more of a, "I'm learning from you." And that's pretty freaking awesome what you're doing. Or, wow, I saw how that did not work out for you, so I'm not even going to go there. You know, that's the kind of thing that we need to work towards is people start, of course, people need to learn where things come from, uh, number uh, one. Uh, you know, this stuff of, why are you killing the cows to drink your milk? <laughs> you don't kill cows to get milk, you morons. <laughs> but there's people that actually believe that. They kind of do in a way. The industry, wow. how it's uh, been forced. Uh, yeah. Uh, here in Arkansas, yeah, I don't think I don't think there's a dairy left here in Denver County, Arkansas. Uh, they've pushed them out over time. You go way back uh, some more than fifty odd year ago, and you see how the dairies was uh, how it was put into place of uh, the commodity, and that goes by the butter fat and and uh, what people are drinking now and buying at the grocery store. This. Uh, no fat milk stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what they used to pour off and feed to the hogs at the dairy. Yeah. And it's also the means of controlling the value and uh, yep. yes. the manipulation yeah. of the market. They've uh, run the, the man, the, the cow, uh, the dairyman out of uh, almost everywhere around here. And so they got it all concentrated into feed lots and uh, they've got these cows that stand there and uh, their whole life. And that's what they do is eat and masticate the, Puss and all that other stuff that comes out of the, the bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nasty. It's mm -hmm. nasty. But you know what? It's against the law to uh, buy raw milk from your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? See, that's anything that's good for you is against the law. Anything the law wants you to do is going to fuck you up or kill you. That's because man's laws are merely control tools. Right. Well, all they are. All the supports leaning to the follow the freaking government idiots that want it to be this way because this is the best we can do. We I, yeah. I love it. Do, do the yellow brick road again. Mm. Follow the yellow brick road. I'm telling follow you, the yellow brick road. My favorite voice. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Actually, I kind of like the munchkin thing yeah, better. Yeah, that's but. the one I thought you were doing, the munchkin voice. Oh. Uh, well, that was a munchkin voice, but that wasn't one of the munchkin songs. You know, but, like, we represent the lullaby league. The lullaby league. The yeah. lullaby league. Okay, that's that. That does address a bigger problem. What are we mm -hmm. going to do about global climate change people what help help uh, very much more pressing to me is the global time change problem that we are experiencing time you seem change. to lose the four minutes or three somehow between here and there explain to me four, this or five right? plus the uh we don't change the clock till the last day of the month here i think i don't know it's all fucked up, so I had to do early you know, shows until the first. You know, oh, you got to stop and think hey, here hey, about what, what context are they using climate? I don't know. You know, because you got a global climate change as in the climate or the, the vibe or the, you know, the attitudes of people. And then you've got the climate as in the weather. Yeah. 
Ouch. Now, which climate change are they talking about? Because wonder. there is a climate change going on. Yeah, yeah but what's little known or uh, most people, I don't hear talk about it. What the real climate change is that's going on is all the manipulation of our environment. Oh. Uh, yeah, whatever. through geoengineering. Um, uh, that too, especially. So we have uh, climate change in, in uh, uh, the emissions from planes in the air that uh, form into uh, whatever they want to call them, lingering, persistent, uh, uh, and so on, condensation trails. Uh, what about in the oceans? What's going on there? Yeah, the, the environment is changing. So people don't fight about whether it's by natural okay. by the sun, Vinny, or if it man's farting too much. How, Kill how, the cow, how, get them off the desert land. How did we get here, Vinny? How did it good. get this way? I mean, I just woke up one day and it was like this. What, ha right, what I, did I miss? You remember a very old scene. And you're supposed to be playing Groucho, but these are two other guys. Slowly okay. turn. Oh, step. Yeah. By step. Mm. By step. Mm -hmm. Okay, so know? it happened a little time. Uh, when daylight savings time starts here, the last day of the month, right? Yeah, I got a nod and head over at the Dort table in Denmark. So the last cool. day of this month. So until then, all my shows, I got to remember I'm an hour earlier till the last day of the month and I go back up an hour. It's a mess. Hey, Dr. Cooper came by to see me. Uh, see? Yeah. That's because I'm a wonderful I mean, I people. I would just as soon do without all this daylight savings time and well, daylight you can. standard time. Okay. Pick a time and stick with it. How about Thank no you. time? How about right now? <laughs> well, yeah, I, that works too. I tell Sir Colt, mm -hmm. I disavow your clock. And the next day she slaps me in the face with, well, come get me at six. <laughs> <laughs> can't win how how will i know if it's six if i don't use a clock damn damn you <laughs> time hmm. Mary, what you talking about the internal clock that we had no I'm, yeah I'm the circadian about, rhythm but i'm talking about the one that uh, the business world runs on that we need to adjust ourselves to to suit them we're not doing it at our own speed words you know, i mean think about it, if you just went to bed woke up whatever time and at after that you spent so much time eating and then you went to work no matter what time it was <laughs> yeah and that's one of those things that you it, everybody said well it's because of the farmers no it's not because the of the farmers, farmers. Oh, Lord, you know everybody said oh well they do daylight savings time because of the farmers that's a bullshit story that somebody started it, it was after because world farmers war II, work mary. from sun up to sundown right, mary period it started after world war ii from, Without from Kent, it. Kent, or from Kent to Kent, as other ways it's been said. Uh, so what purpose does it serve in the end? I, I don't even understand it. In Ju in July, we're going to have a 20-hour day of sunlight for a, almost a month. It stays mm -hmm. in the night a lot. And then it dwells well, back down to I the other way. I said that it was because little children were being run over on their way to school. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> now that's that's for going back to standard time. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, it's just, actually Ben Franklin, I researched it because I was I was ticked when all that Research. crap was going on. Um yeah. and Ben Franklin wrote a paper on it yeah. and he wrote that paper based on something he had read from some guy in France that had proposed some kind of time thing because you know it would save on the use of candles. And so Ben Franklin also proposed it, but it didn't get, um, you know, which weird, huh? All of this stuff actually got kind of sort of put before Congress, like around the early 1900s, along the same time as the Fed and income tax, all this other crazy jerk you around by their string stuff. Yeah. But people, people bucked the system and said, uh, uh, ain't going to happen. Well, then, and that was the first one. And then World War One started, and they tried to initiate, because they did do it during World War One. I have no during idea it, why, yeah. but after World War One, people said, nope, no more. We don't need to be doing this crap. It wasn't until World War Two that they actually enforced it again. But once World War Two was over, people said, no, -uh, we ain't having none of this stuff. And then they come up with a little congressional decree kind of thing. I can't remember which president it was that signed that into law, but there is an actual law 
for for daylight savings time. Oh yeah, well, it would have to be around and forty-five. You left the story out too. There was also it was a very, very uh, early movement to save the whales, and they thought that if uh, they could stop these harpooners, if they'd only lessen the load for whale oil. Oh, really? I don't remember reading that part. That's oh, I'm how fascinating. Now. <laughs> Are you hmm. making up stories on the Dork Table, Vincent, about whales? <laughs> I'll have you walking in circles. When you the were way. when you were the captain on that um, septic tanker off the shore of uh, Norway. Uh, <sighs> yeah, septic tanker. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, well, you know, he does emit noxious fumes. Sometimes. <laughs> now and then. <laughs> if the breeze He brags about you, it. You go, hey, who did the Vinny around here? Uh, there it goes right there. Shoot flames. Oh. <laughs> Boom, breaking bad, baby. I tell you, what you should have done is rented yourself out to Moose while she was away this weekend, and you could have melted all her snow with your hat ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bring Vos a bag of beans Vinny for vociferous school. breaks bad nonsense. <laughs> it's all talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all are weird. Half of it, little lady. I think. I think Mary's been married, and she's an yeah. She's not a spring chicken. This ain't her first rodeo. Come on, guys. No, it ain't. Let's go. I no, like make people you say the word like right. A, say yeah, rodeo. come on, rodeo. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Come on, she's she's not a child here. She knows what she's doing at the Doric Table podcast. Hey, Are I the, grew up with a dad that would sit there in front of the swamp cooler <laughs> and let one go, knowing that he was sitting there enjoying the nice cool air while it was blowing at the rest of us that were laying on the floor. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Call that a monsoon. Wow. Love it. Great dad. <laughs> Downwind was never such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Even cow and chicken know that. Yeah. Just ask Chicken, he'll tell you. Huh? <laughs> well, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I don't hey, have Consider it. Hey, he'd roll the window down when he was driving and uh, smoking a cigarette. It's like, that's oh. pretty nice. But no, it was to keep him awake because he's drunk. It's too little <laughs> to want to play those kind of mm. games. All you big people would have sat on me and I would have suffered terribly. Served me well to be the brains behind the operation instead, <laughs> being involved in the you know in the execution. No, no, no even no. As a grown up. Yes, well, farts are funny. What I'm saying is, enforcement starts in childhood if you know how to do it. You can bribe people to do just about anything if you have got the right stuff to trade or sell. If you know what oh, I mean. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, I was a crafty teenager. I always had smokes and money to buy smokes with. There you go. People say, "Hey, where does your ill gotten gain come from?" When I was when I was fifteen years old, first uh, real job I kind my way into. I got picked it up hitchhiking. I was hitchhiking from Downey one day down Lakewood Boulevard. At the end of the ride, the guy says, oh, hey, we're looking for somebody that's in school, but might want a little part-time work. And gave me a business card. So I called him up, and but I wasn't in the school. I kind of lied about that. Said I was going to public, um, what do you call that? The, the It's like a dummy school when they send you. They, get, they separate you out, the regular herd. Uh, they called it continuation because it wasn't connected to the actual high school. Separate for all the bad guys. <laughs> so I told the guy I was I was gonna you know I was going there three hours a day, so I couldn't come to work until afternoon if I wanted to. <laughs> and back in those days, people didn't call and ask if you carried yourself well enough, they would take your word for it until you did something stupid to make them question what you told them mm -hmm. so yeah so i played the student at 15 going to school when i wasn't going to school 
and I had a, <laughs> I had a job in the afternoons working for a real business. It was wild. How do you cash your checks? <laughs> Because I had thought all that stuff ahead and figured out ways to do it. In a grown-up world, I was a 15-year-old with a job. Yeah, I got cash when I was a kid. No, oh, I had a job at 14, so. Well, I did, too, at 14, my first uh, paycheck job. Well, well okay. Well, I yeah. was bragging because it was a more of an adult kind of a thing to work where this place was. And at 15, I was the kind that would wear sports coats and slacks. So I didn't look like a punk. I looked like a nerd or a dork. Oh, Lordy. I cannot I cannot yeah. picture that. Well, I just in cannot. The, in the 70s, it was, easy to, it was easier to fit in being in the middle than too extreme either way. And I had bell bottoms in platform shoes. On. See, and when I was little, man, and I'm just little. Nothing was going to change any of that. And I went with what I wanted to do and it wasn't see dork table it wasn't popular but it's it was good for me it served my purposes i had my little job it wouldn't last on three months four months something like that but yeah but it's still an experience that you remember to this day so. right but it led up to where i wanted to go to school really to get my driver's license because i was getting dropped off to a job by either yeah. friends or hitchhiking or my dad was on his way by or something Somebody, got you know, I wasn't driving myself to work. It was weird. Hmm. And yeah, a lot of people, yeah, like yourself, you did something when you were 14, 15. And we share that as a common amongst our age group peers. And we know who we are. The, the late 50s. Yeah, I was a car hop at A&W when I was 14. Hmm. So yes, that was you. after I babysat for two years. Wow, Man. babysat. Can you imagine? Now you need a license from the state because there's so many people. TV, TV and movies is convinced. Stop the, whatever that is in the background is killing me. Hey, That's hey, Rob. hey, hey. Got to mute up. Rob. Rob, 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 Rob. Um, Rob works. Get it. Better than All right. I'll, ah, there bless you. Amen. All right. Sorry to complain, but. Mm, fell off. You had to reconnect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I was just uh, doing my dork Jew thing and complaining like a fucking baby. <laughs> well, you're good at it, so you may as well. Thank Frank, you. If you're going to do something, be good at it. Well, you know, if you're going to take one for the team, this is the one to take because it doesn't do anything. What does that actually mean, take one for the team? Oh, what are you taking? What is I it you're actually taking? Is it? I'm taking the blame, your highness. Blame? In this case, or the responsibility of saying, shut this damn noise up before I shut the show off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me take my ball and go home, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, Put third base work. back, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Dad, you say, Don't make me pull over. Because, <laughs> you know, there's people that will try to tell you you can play baseball with only three bases. And I say, nay, unto you, swine hunt. That would be a <laughs> different game. How do you have three, only three bases? That's what I'm saying. You need four, and there's somebody in the world that will try to convince you that you're wrong. And it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it is you believe. There's opposition out there to find you, whatever your belief is. That's what beliefs do. Bring out opposition. <laughs> how, how does it work as far as, can you change the rules of the game? Like chess. Is there another way of playing chess besides the standard way? Well, of course not, because then it wouldn't be chess, would it? Chess already exists with a set of rules that have been agreed upon by generations of chess players. So, oh yeah, you're going to start doing it differently, then it's going to be a different game. I'll bet you 50 frog skins that uh, they're it. I'm going to go look. Okay, well, I say if you play Pinochle with a Pinochle player, you'll play Pinochle. You won't be playing Jen. I never ever wanted to learn how to how to um, play pe pinochle because just of course growing up with seven brothers, my mind always went somewhere besides <laughs> cards. When someone said pinochle, it's like uh, -uh I ain't playing. <laughs> it's really a good game. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. But you need a partner. It's a four player. There's a three player version cutthroat game, but I don't play it. 
I play the partner's game. And it's similar to like, um, what else would there be that was in that league of card playing? Uh, what's that other one where they... Is it kind of like bridge, bridge. or like yeah, spades? Or... Bridge. Well, it's like hearts and spades advanced plus. It's like the difference between cribbage and uh, blackjack. Here's one. Okay, mm. Does that make... Is that a good analogy or not? Because blackjack's real simple, but cribbage is a little more complicated. And, yeah, and yeah. I've played cribbage before. Well, that's pretty I got, much uh, 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 variants on the rules of uh, chess. Some uh, variants would be uh, the pawns are placed in the usual squares, but the uh, position of other pieces is, is uh, either randomly determined or selected by the uh, players. Uh -huh. So appears there is and i bet you there's more beyond that but right but it wouldn't be chess anymore it'd be something else vincent still a please. chess board it's still all the chess pieces but instead of being conformed by these rules properly placed as a uh, society might deem you say hey i'm gonna saddle up my pony and ride another way no you're you're attacking my sense of taste sorry i i know won't have this. Yes. I'm sorry, Clarice, but no, we, we, we won't have this. Hi, Beetle. Hey, Beetle showed up. Oh, yeah. he must have forgot all about us today. Beetle's usually around when we're doing this wacky stuff. Mm hmm Yep. We, we have our little Real Liberty Media group that's not a real yep. group. It's kind of like a, like a bar. It's like an electronic <laughs> it bar. It is, kind of. You know? It's almost like a biker bar. People Only come not, up. You people know? Come, yeah, they come up missing for days at a time. And then somebody goes three, four days into their missingness. They go, hey, anybody seen Cowboy Tech? <laughs> He's not been around for three or four days. And it turns out nine. <laughs> That's how much I pay attention. And Cowboy Tech is one of my favorite people. But he, he was logging on as Mountain Man instead of Cowboy Tech. Oh. So, well, he was on, a, I guess, a vacation from Cowboy Tech Land or whatever. I don't know. But we have this little electronic uh, group that knows each other enough to, hey, where's so-and-so at? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's better well, than you Facebook. Being worried about them or something. Well, right. But see, that's still better than Facebook where people out of sight, out of mind. Good God, I was waiting for that fucker to die. <laughs> Oh, it's and, it's kicking right now. But we don't do that at Real Liberty. Well, only a few of us, about one or two people. It's not like the, an epidemic from one side of the site to the other. It's a small world. So the, the yeah. friendships out, way outnumber the not friendships on the reallibertymedia.com. Yeah. Well, sometimes the old timers come back around for, a, you know, they're busy with their life and they're not spending so much time. They come back for the Freakers Ball. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I think it was Grim that was saying the corners. Wow. What was that? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, that, that, that was be, the beat. Be prepared. Was that you, Vinny? Really I didn't do loud. it. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <let> me. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you smelt it, you dealt it. <laughs> he was the first one to cry, not me. So suspect number one. I had to knock a dog off a gut wagon for it. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. I thought we were being invaded by Martians. I was no, getting just ready. Vinny. Hey, Vinny was, chiming in. I was Woo! getting ready to do my Orson Welles, you know. <clears throat> Well, so long as you don't do your Hank. God dang, that's just no, fucking creepy. I, I I only do Hank when you're around, though, so you killed it for me now. I won't do Hank. <laughs> I, I, approve, I approve the way Hank says batteries. Ah, uh, batteries. I, I don't care how you think about how I say the fucking word. Humans. Uh, <laughs> oh, please please be silent. Is the fact that he uses propane. Please be silenced before. That is gas. Don't use gas to cook. Yeah. We will not 
entertain this nonsense. Please go away, oh, sir. It's no good for cooking. Hey, what do you think? Was that Hank or what? Huh? 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 Yeah, that was that was Hank, and I was uh, sitting. Here, I was concentrating well, on my knitting, maybe and trying not, the, not to. Not the voice so much as the idea behind the voice. Yeah. Well, yeah. Please. It's just freaking. Because then I get that mental image. Go and it's like, oh God. Please go over there to the corner and die somewhere. Oh, so I, yeah, I would you stop God. already? The more young blood I have, the longer I can live. Ah! Flash. <laughs> Sorry. Don't make me stop. Don't make me come over there. Ah, uh, well. I kicked the ass. <laughs> You've said worse on the radio. I can live without that Well, one. that's true. That's true. <laughs> and you're welcome to come over anytime you want to. We'll hide you out. Like, and what's her name? Anne Frank. You can be our oh. Jew bitch. We'll hide you in the walls of the house. I can, I can hide in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we bring her out at night. We actually, <laughs> in the eaves of the house, there's there's. I was areas. worried about your neighbor and his basement. And now, one. <laughs> Up, upstairs, <laughs> we're gonna make proof of life. Uh, Dirt cakes? Is this really you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we only keep him here in spirit. Have you got a, a one of the VOS things in, in bouncing his signal? You have him in the basement. I want to know now. Dark, can you hear me? Dark cakes. Hello. No, he's he's not in hey, the basement. Hey, give me a favor, Flash. Unplug Why? your headphones for a minute Why? and plug your speakers in. Uh, why? Then I'll mess up all this. Um, radio stuff I got going on. Oh, well, I was trying to be sure that Dorks could actually hear me. No, I'm basement. sure he's he, Annie chewing gum. I don't know what he's talking about. Annie had an, a tick. <laughs> oh, Annie, Annie had an attic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But see, upstairs in the house here, We've got these little areas in the walls that you can actually get inside. There's room. So we could hide you here like Anne Frank. Nobody would know. Oh, so I could be the bad lady in your belfry. You huh? could write a book in the walls of a Danish house. How many Americans get to do that? Hey, I better watch out or Circle asked me to try it. Here, you thought it works. Honey, will you fit in here and then seal it over? <laughs> Be like an Edgar Allan Poe oh, story. The, the Telltale Heart Part 2. <laughs> 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 Revenge of Tale of Black Cat. Oh, never mind. Cycles. Cycles. I'm sorry. I won't be such a Jewy bastard. Let me out. Hey, and for the end of the show, did you guys ever find out that they proved that Anne Frank crap to be a story by a, a man. <laughs> she she never wrote it. It was an uncle or somebody like that. Made it all up. It was all the bullshit. I do remember reading something about that. Go on, go on your internet site, whatever that might be, and go tip, 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 type a question about Anne Frank's being a fraud. You'll find it. That's the sad part about the dork world now is whenever I, I want to see something was you know, faked or we were lied to about it, there it is. But then on the other hand, you have the exact amount of information telling you that it's real and true and good for you. So it's just a matter of sides you take now. We, we've been separated into this crap. by these. Well, yeah, people, and, our, and our gut instinct has been pretty much poisoned out of us well with for the, the three of us, they feed us okay but the There's three of us here today to that story right there is wow. the, that brain gut well yeah the, but you don't mm, the you gut don't get brain. much mm -hmm. all the uh, gmo in the uh, uh, uh -oh. roundup ready crops we consume right. uh-huh you don't get much different than the three of us at one place at one time <laughs> true too. I just wanted to make a point of that. And I got both of you on a dork table. And the last time we did this, we did it on a Sunday. And wow. <laughs> I don't think we recorded it or anything, but it was funny. So I'm hoping that I'm going to want to play this one back because I have no idea what we do. <laughs> that we were funny because I was laughing. And I like well, to say. I'm not sure there's free. Uh, <clears throat> run out of time and I run out of voice it seems like uh, <laughs> um, 
So I'm going to be writing a letter to Jeff Winehouse uh, tomorrow. I'm going to dedicate that time. Uh, a lot of political prisoners being locked up. If anybody's really interested that they'd like to uh, uh, correspond with uh, some prisoners, and you know how to me, you know, I'll hook you up with some addresses. And that's at, cool. how do they get a hold of you? Through what? If you're listening to me, you can find me. I'm pretty oh, sure. Vinny the, Vinny the Cakes. Got I'm it. Vince Lee the Second on Facebook, also on Twitter, and uh, uh, you can find me at uh, realliberty.org and uh, go over to Freedoms Network, which I need to go take a visit to. Not been there in a while, and other fine places. Just go uh, about dot me and write my name, Vincent Easley the Second, all in small. Uh, letters i i at the end like captain had to do and there, there you are go. that's You've it been informed then he's people. everywhere that's right oh <sighs> and i i didn't do the intro you know i always say thanks to grim especially grimner for because most of the time i don't know what i'm doing here and i always got to uh, ask a question in the chat hey, or there's no it. way to think grim it okay is, well let me do so my much. bit don't it's do it for me in it. it's uh well I, that's you, know, you. i, I i'm Papa, I'm Jewish. Take hey. care of all of this. I'm Jewish. Don't don't kill me here with all this responsibility, Vincent. Come on. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> thanks. <Grim. laughs> Is that enough ass kissing for the Grimner or what, my friend? Oi. Love you, big Papa. What, what color is your mustache? Is that a dark brown or a dark black? I cannot tell from here. Mine is la, 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 la. <laughs> so he what? <laughs> you perverts. Perverts and pervets out there in the real liberty media dot com chat. Anyway, how are we doing on time? We got well like ten minutes. No, wait. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Well, Miss Mary, you wanna do the schedule or leave it to the Vincent man? He does the schedule very well. How about I let Vinny do it? Vinny, How about if Vinny's we good. make Vinny do it? I drank a glass of my water. <laughs> yeah, drink up, <laughs> scuzzy boy. Water, glug, 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 oh, glug, glug, glug. I've got uh, just a little bit of grinds in the bottom of that. There's and you only have a little that. bit of <laughs> bone winkle in your voice, too. Just a <clears> bit. <throat> no, you still got some bull winkle in there. <laughs> what you need, sir, is no, a well, mute let's get on off oh. and Let's get along, little doggies, and I'll tell you where we're going to wander, too. Come on back here tomorrow with the Yippee Kai Yo. And we're going to play a little trivia and listen to a little blues with Grimner. We'll start off about quarter to 11 here in Central Time. That's where Grammy lives, too. Uh huh. If you're not in Kansas, uh, Hal Anthony comes along at noon o'clock on the left coast. That's 3 p.m. Eastern Time for some of you folks way up north. And then we get along back to the, the mighty Grim that he be. With his, some uh, leftovers, we call them grim, but they're actually pretty good. You swallow them down with a drink or two. <clears throat> Give them some of that cold coffee. Uh, then, uh, that's in the evening time, uh, along about 6. Check, check, the, check the time zone for yourself. Tuesday is in a perfect world, and that is at noon central. Wednesday, Grass Grammy, you're still doing rocket chairs on Wednesday at 6. Yep. Because I didn't find you last Wednesday doing it. No, we had nasty, nasty oh, weather God. out here, and I kept losing electricity. Oh, boy. Wow. And Mr. Flash, he moved as quick nearly to a different time slot on Thursday with 20% off. And I can get you a deal like a coupon to go extra with that if you're interested. <clears throat> I'll refer back to where I said how to get a hold of me, and I'll get you a free coupon, sure enough. Friday, I'm going to be back, I reckon, with another ponder gander. I wander along the, as I wander, or wander. I always mix them words up. What do you do? Wander, Grab wander. Six. You it's wander six. over yonder. Does ah, he right. Does he take his wing nut with him? Uh, I don't want to know about his nuts. <laughs> no, <laughs> singular, Mary. As singular. Important. Do you have a, a, a somebody checking your gas to make sure you're ready to blast off again? Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, I think my levels are good. Good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I have not known it. Houston, we don't have a problem. Okay, so we're set there in 10 o'clock in the Central Time Zone. I'm at 10 o'clock p.m. 
Uh, We've got uh, had balls to the walls uh, last this last last night, and the next one we'll expect to have Moosey back, and we'll have the Freakers ball, y'all. Uh, and that's uh that's free, like F R E E. We're free, curves, man. Uh, oh. You better believe it. Come on over and have some fun, listen to music, and some uh, wonderful, wonderful weights until you come back here again for the Doig table. And it is happening at 11 a.m. in the Central Time. Or if you like noon, show up at noon if you're in the Eastern Time. <laughs> Thanks for that, folks. Yay, he does do that good. Hey, thanks a lot, guys, for popping by at the dork table. It's fun. And, you know, if you're ever bored on uh, in a perfect world and Vinny's still boycotting me, come by and say hey. Because uh, Vinny's well, not doing radio for like two or three weeks, about a week ago. <laughs> Something like that. Uh-huh. I don't know. <laughs> I can't hey, keep up with him. I had things come up. And I he's, had to do so. he's faster than Flash. What can I tell you? <laughs> well, Tuesdays I work, and this Tuesday I'm going with my mom to the doctor to have a little discussion about the blood pressure meds. Again. Oh, no, no. Mary, I'm just saying it's an open invitation to you. Yeah, I know. Saturday I know. I appreciate it. You get bored and well, you might get good, good and bored and have your computer there handy. Jump on in. Anyway, that's the show, everybody. Thanks for the coupon, yeah, Vinny, cakes. Thanks a lot for popping into the dark table, too, sir. Thanks, y'all. See you in the funny See papers. You later. Dork.